Greetings everyone and welcome to this series on generalized linear modeling in JAS. Generalized linear models are flexible extensions of general linear models such as linear regression. They help to predict a non-linear response or outcome variable by specifying an appropriate probability distribution for the response variable and use a link function to map the responses. That is the probabilities to the linear combination of predictors. Generally, GLMs consist of a random component that is a probability distribution and a systematic component that is specifying how the explanatory variables relate to the mean of the response. The Bernoulli family can be used to model binary response data. The binomial family can be used to model proportions or count data. Gaussian family for continuous response data gamma family for positive continuous data, inverse Gaussian for positive continuous data again, and the Poisson family for count data. In this example, we will use a Poisson regression to model our response data, which is in the form of counts. This data set we have right in front of here, front of us, contains information on the number of awards won by students belonging to different university programs. The math scores column provides the math scores of each student in the final examination. We want to find out whether the university program where the students enrolled and or the math scores explain the number of awards won by the students. We heard the response variable in the form of counts as the number of awards and to perform our Poisson regression, our generalized linear regression in JASP, we can select the regression drop down option and select the generalized linear model. We can select the family, which is Poisson. For now, we will leave the link function as log. The dependent variable will be in the number, the number of awards. Covariates will include math scores and factors will include the program. The model drop down option will help us to include or exclude certain factors or covariates. We can also include an interaction term between math scores and program if we wish. In the next video, we will have a look at various input options available to us in JASP to model such a regression. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.